So welcome to Math 98. We are going to work on section uh, 6.5 right now. And in 6.5, we're doing some division uh, with monomials. So one of the things we know about division is like if I have 6 over 54, you can do as much of this dividing as possible. In other words, um, you know, I have the 6 up here. Let's see. And uh, 54, I know that 54 is 6 times 9. And then notice I can say 6 divided by 6 is 1. So that's the same as 1 ninth. So I can do the same sort of thing when I have exponents. x to the 7th over x cubed. This is like 7 x's. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 all multiplied together. And then 3 of the x's in the bottom all multiplied together. And x divided by x is 1. x divided by x is 1. x divided by x is 1 leaving me x to the fourth. Notice what happened is three of these x's uh, divided out three of those x's, leaving me four of them. So essentially, I want seven minus three. <laughs> so let's take a look at this one. Uh, x to the fifth, uh, x to the third, sorry, divided by x to the fifth, three of these x's will divide out three of these x's, leaving me two x's in the denominator. 1 over x squared. So if I think of this subtraction, relationship as well, 3 minus 5. Notice that leaves me x to the negative 2. And x to the negative 2 is 1 over x squared. A negative exponent is repeated division. So, for example, x squared means uh, a repeated multiplication, right? I'm just going to start with a 1, multiply by x, multiply by x. x to the negative 2 means repeated division. So divide by x, divide by x which is the same as multiply by 1 over x, multiply by 1 over x. So that gives us a, a little relationship we can hold on to. Is if I have anything taken to a negative exponent, it is 1 over that thing to that exponent. So thinking about uh, things like x to the 10th over x to the 7th, um, you know, you can just subtract. I just want to point out this is the same as x to the 10th times x to the negative 7th. And we know when we multiply, we can add exponents. So x to the third. You don't have to write it out this way. Uh, but, and I'm not going to evaluate this next one. I'm just going to kind of simplify it. I'm going to leave it in the base 4. 4 to the 17th over 4 to the 6th, uh, let's say. Actually, I'm going to make this into it. Sorry, uh, 4 to the 20th. And I can think of this as... 17 minus 20, so 4 to the negative third, which is 1 over 4 cubed. One of the things I want you to notice is where's the weight, right? There, there's more x's in the top than the bottom. So there'll be x's left in the top. And this one, this is like x cubed over 1. We don't need to write the over 1 part. Here are the weights in the bottom. So we've got 3 of these 4's left uh, in the bottom in the denominator. How about if I want b to the 5th divided by b to the 5th? That's a good thing to think about. Something divided by itself is 1, as long as that something is in a 0. So that if I take that into my subtraction relationship, this would be b to the 0. b to the 0 is 1. And that gives us another relationship to think about. Um, anything to the 0th power is 1, except 0. 0 to the 0th power uh, is, we can't decide what it is. It's called indeterminate. So there's a couple of relationships that we can that we can hold on. And now if you take a peek in your book uh, in the 6.5 section, there is a whole list of a uh, summary of these, these exponential relationships. So these are things to know. Um, you should have done some work in 97 with these. But let me summarize a couple of things. Let's say I have two-thirds uh, to the third. I'm going to just write a couple more. All right. So two-thirds to the third power. What I want you to notice is this whole thing's being taken to the third power, right? Like some, taking something to the third power means uh, multiplying it by itself three times. You don't need to write this out to resolve it, but I just want to point out that this is two thirds times two thirds times two thirds. So it's two cubed over three cubed, right? They're both, both of these are taken to the third power. And this would be eight over uh, 27. B to the third over 9 to the third? Well, that should be B to the third over 9 to the third. And we could resolve that on our calculator. How about this next piece? Y to the fourth squared. 
Uh, actually, y to the fourth over y to the sixth squared. Well, this is y to the fourth squared over y to the sixth squared. And notice we're taking a power to a power, y to the fourth squared. When you square something, that's times itself. y to the fourth times y to the fourth is y to the eighth. And y to the sixth squared, well, y to the sixth times y to the sixth is y to the twelfth. So no, notice what we did. When we have a power to a power, we could multiply them. And similarly, this one would be uh, x to the 20th over x to the 12th. They're both taken to the fourth power, 5 times 4, 3 times. All right, let's take a look at another couple pieces of uh, division here. So looking at this one, I have this thing to the fourth power, this thing to the fifth power, this thing to the fifth power. I'm going to resolve all that first. So x to the third to the fourth is x to the twelfth. Power to a power, I multiply. x squared to the fifth is x to the tenth. Uh, x to the sixth to the fifth. Ooh, six times five is 30. And now I have 12 x's multiplied by 10 more x's. So now when I multiply, I'm going to add that. 22 over x to the 30. And now I can do some subtraction. I notice that weight's in the bottom. Um, so I'm going to write this as 1 over x to the 8th. Didn't specify. I know that's the same as x to the negative 8th, but I'm going to stick with this. Uh, typically, we're trying not to write things, answers with negative exponents. All right, 56x to the 7th divided by 8x cubed. So this is the same as uh, a fraction. Fractions are just division. Right, a division, there's our line, boop, top thing divided by bottom thing. So 56 over eight, I believe that's seven. X to the seventh over X cubed is X to the fourth. So that resolves to that. All right, two more here to take a quick look at. Now, when you do these, um, you know, you can take a couple of different approaches. One is you can just simplify everything first, like you could, Say, I'm just going to multiply everything in the top first and then just go from there. So 3 times 2 is 6. x to the 5th times x cubed is x to the 8th. Uh, y squared times y to the 4th is y to the 6th over 9. x to the 4th, y to the 5th. And then you can simplify from there. Uh, 6 ninths is the same as 2 thirds. x to the 8th over x to the 4th. That's going to leave me x to the 4th in the, in the numerator up top. X to the sixth over y to the fifth. I'm uh, sorry, y to the sixth over y to the fifth. That leaves me one y up top. There's that. So you can go that route. The other thing you can do is you can just start kind of canceling too, right? I've got x to the fourth, so that would cancel out five of these, leaving me just x. Three goes into nine three times. And this is just because everything's multiplied. I can together I can do this. Uh, y to the fourth makes that just a y. Y to the first. That y to the first would take out one of those y's. It's kind of a mess, but if I look at what's up top still, I have a 2. I have x cubed times x to the first, which is x to the fourth, and I have a y over 3, which is the same answer. So you can go both, both routes on this. So I'm going to try and maybe go the second route on this one because I've got negative 12 divided by negative 12. So that's, let's see, uh, y to the eighth over y to the 12th, eight of these would take out 12 of those, leaving me four, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. Yep. And I'll just go, keep going with the y's here. y to the fourth under y to the fifth. Four of these y's take out four of those, leaving me just a y up top. I'm just gonna write that down so I don't lose it. There's a y up top. Uh, there's a negative four up top, up top in the numerator. And let's see, I have x to the 10th here. I'm going to combine these just for my sanity, x to the 11th. x to the 11th over x to the 10th leaves me an x in the numerator as well. So there's my answer right there. All right, take a look at the, uh, the problem set for this. Give them go. Uh, put any questions you have in the forum or message me.